Hi, Miss Emma. First of all, I do appreciate your time. You didn't do much so far this summer. Only you represent the red, red, white, and blue up in old Canada. I, I got to ask you, uh, what what was that experience like? It was it was really cool. I mean, uh, you know, during like season and stuff, you get to play against some of these girls, but uh, getting to play with them and you know just getting to know girls and getting to play with them, uh, different girls from you know all these different colleges across the country is, is really cool. It was kind of a quick transition. I mean, you, you guys just got off Super Regionals and boom, you're back at it again. I mean, and I'm <laughs> sure, you know, back in your high school days, you're playing softball year round. Uh, just talk about just making that quick pivot from just a great run in the regular and postseason to go into that. Yeah, um, I think they asked me if I if I would come up there um, right after Super Regionals. And um, I mean, that's like a great opportunity. So um, I wasn't gonna deny that. Um, so, you know, I, I moved home after Supers, uh, moved back home and just started practicing up again with my dad. Um, and, you know, just preparing for the next thing. <laughs> Yeah, it was neat. You know, your dad, Brian, he's awesome. You know, we've done stories with you both in the past. Just talk about just what's it like to have him around. It seems like, you know, he's your biggest cheerleader. Not, I mean, not that no one else in your family is, but it just seems like he has had a big role in your softball career. No, oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, he uh, he was my pitching coach for about, I guess, 10 years before I got to Tech. So, um you know, it's nice also being able to practice with him, like before I went up to Canada, because, you know, he knows, he knows a thing or two <laughs> about what I'm doing. Um, but, yeah, then, you know, he still catches me and everything. So just, uh, yeah, being able to, you know, have that bond with my dad that, uh, you know, we can go out and practice and he can be my coach. And then we come home and, you know, he's just my dad. <laughs> um, <laughs> But you know he got a he got a pretty good birthday present too. Uh, the game that I pitched up in Canada was his birthday, so I said happy birthday to him after the game. <laughs> so <laughs> you, good so, present. <laughs> so what what better present is the pitch for your dad? You know, just say hey, here you go. Did, did you give him the game ball? Uh, I didn't get a game ball, but I did give him a ball with like the USA thing on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you mentioned you, you played with a lot of these young ladies. They also had long runs. I mean, it, it just had to be neat to play against some of the best, play against some of the best teams, but play with some of the best college players in the country. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, I was the youngest by a few years. Um, some, of the, some of the girls were a lot older than me, but, um, you know, I kind of made it into a learning experience, learning opportunity to, uh, you know, just – learn as much as I can from some of these older players, you know, that have been in the game for uh, longer than I have. Um, but yeah, just, you know, getting to play with them and, um, you know, just learning a lot from everybody there. Uh, it was, it was really cool. You know, it seems like it's almost like a travel ball experience. Cause I mean, you, you know, when you look at the high school travel ball teams that you played on, it's almost like all-star teams. It, did it kind of have that feeling too, to have the fact that you're playing with other great players and just like you did in high school with travel ball? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, even the tournament itself uh, kind of took me back to travel ball, you know, playing, playing that many games in that short period of time. But um, yeah, I mean, I mean, when I was in high school, you know, watching all these girls play on TV and stuff. And then this year, getting to like play against them finally, be like, okay, wow, I watched these girls on TV. And then getting to play with them is even different. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, we, we, you know, circling back, no pun intended, you're in a circle, circling back. I, I kind of <laughs> threw that in there. Uh, when, when you look at, when you look, I mean, now that we're kind of a little bit removed from your freshman year, I mean, just to wrap your brain around it, you just just how, you know, the awesome the run was and just how special it was. And, you know, it just see like you were just in the zone doing your thing. You know, looking at it now, how, how do you look at it, you know, a few, you know, a little bit after it's in the books now? 
Um, you know, I think probably the a few days after uh, the season ended, kind of took a few, few a little bit of time to you know reflect on the season. Uh, just think of stuff that um, you know I want to work on for next season that I think can you know help me. Um, but also you know reflect on uh, everything that I accomplished and that our team accomplished this year. Um, you know, I think we had a really special team this year, and um, I think we had a really, really special and a really good season. So, you know, there's a lot of good to reflect on, but there's, you know, always room to improve. You know, I, I hate to ask you this question, but did you watch any of the College World Series? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it obviously, you know, when you look at, I mean, you know, you were there up there, you know, with Jocelyn, you know, what she was doing, too. I mean, it had to be neat to see her, you know, up close, face to face, too. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, having, uh, I mean, yeah, it was, I mean, it was really cool, you know, getting to meet all these people that, I mean, were in the College World Series and stuff, and that have that experience of being there multiple times. Um, yeah, really cool, and you know, get to learn a lot, to take into next year type thing. You, you mentioned things you wanted to work on. Uh, just talk about how you feel that this experience on Team USA will help you for next season. Because obviously you got, you know, fall ball coming up and then obviously the season. Mm -hmm. You know, I think um, just, uh, getting to talk to, you know, some of the girls that play in Japan and that have already played their four years of college. And then some of the girls that have also, you know, played majority of their um, college careers already. Um, you know, just kind of getting to learn some more about how they approach the game and their mentalities and stuff like that. Um, but also, you know, pitching against um, teams that have never really seen you pitch. Uh, some people could see that as an advantage, but also makes it a little bit harder because you don't really have a plan going up against them. Um, so your stuff's really got to work. So I think, um, you know, I'm just going to take uh, – some of that of what I learned into next season and, um, you know, to kind of up my pitching mentality and, you know, just my uh, mindset while playing. All right. Now, so special questions I got to ask you, you know, baby Damore, he had a birthday during the stretch <laughs> and then super fan Arthur had a birthday recently. Yes. I got to ask you, did you, did you guys, I know you took care of baby Damore, but did you <laughs> take care of super fan Arthur? Oh, yeah, we all sent him birthday messages and made sure he felt the hokey softball love on his birthday. <laughs> so so now that, I mean, you know, you were there obviously last year and the year before that, the team made it to one game away from the College World Series. It seems like now everybody is looking at Virginia Tech now, and I'm sure you guys are getting some, you know, obviously, you know, you, you had a, a legendary pitcher. I mean, she's going to go on the wall over at Tech Softball Park. Yeah. But it's, it seems like you now, you know, I'm seeing y'all get some, some heat coming in. Y'all got some players coming in. So now I'm sure, mm -hmm. you know, y'all are ready to rock and roll. Y'all not rebuilding. Y'all look like y'all trying to reload and knock that yeah. down and go to OKC. Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, we have, honestly, we have most of our starting lineup returning anyways. Um, so that's, that's a big thing. That's a big deal. Um, but, you know, I think, the class coming in is definitely going to help and I'm excited to get to play with them. I think we're all excited to get to play with them and, you know, see what they're going to do. And now obviously you're, you're going to take the, the, you know, you call Keely Richard, you know, mama, you know, mama bear. Yeah. <laughs> now, now I'm sure she's handed that over to you, you know, so as far as leadership, because even at JF, you were a leader. So you already had the leadership skills and doing what you did as a freshman. When it comes to leadership, what do you feel is the biggest thing that you learned from Keeley when it comes to leading the team? Um, you know, a big thing that I think I learned um, just watching her on the field is that uh, she leads by example. Um, when anything bad happens, like during the game or anything just, you know, doesn't go the way we want to, she's very calm, cool, and collected on the field, um, never shows that anything bothers her. So, you know, I think that's a big thing that, I can take from her and that everybody on the team can take from her that, you know, something doesn't go our way. You know, we have to stay calm about it 
um, and just think about, you know, what we can do better to improve. And I think that's a big thing that um, I'm going to take into next year and that, you know, I think everybody will take into next year just remembering how she handled situations during the game and outside of the game and, you know, just following that lead. Good deal. Now, real quick, uh, I'm going to ask you, it's, it's, these are fun questions. Barrel's <laughs> five. These are rapid fire. I'm, I'm bringing heat. So I'm, I'm winding All up right. my arms. I'm getting ready. So I'm bringing <laughs> heat. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to bring it. So here we go. All Your right. First, the All first right. question. First question. Your favorite color and why? Favorite color is definitely pink, I think. And I don't know why. I've just always loved pink. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> I figure you'd say red or black or maroon and orange, but uh, you know, in high school, I always, I always had pink batting gloves. Yeah. <laughs> what uniform I had on? I had pink batting gloves. <laughs> Good deal. Um, all right, here's a fun question. You, you, you have a lot of K's. You know, a lot of strikeouts. Do you prefer to strike out someone when they're swinging, or do you prefer to strike out someone while they're looking? I think swinging because that means my rise ball is really working. If I can get them to swing and miss that many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. My next question. Uh, I guess I have to lump them together here, but your favorite baseball slash softball movie, if you have a combination or baseball or softball. Um, probably League of Their Own. I think I've watched that a lot, but also, um, watched that a good few times <laughs> what, what was this what was the second movie you kind of cut out on me oh uh sandlot oh sandlot okay all right yeah. <laughs> okay let me all right so this is doesn't count this is part of the question okay what character you feel like you most resemble in league of their own and what character you most resemble in sandlot like who's your favorite or who do you you tie up with Ooh. each of them oh that's a hard one um, you know, I think, you know, League of Their Own, I would try to try to lead a team like, you know, Dot, but, um, uh, but you're in the pitcher, so I guess you have to be Kit, right? No, if you're a pitcher. I know, yeah, but, I but, know. You, but you, but you, but you, but Dottie was the leader, so I guess you, you could be, they're both sisters, and so you could play each role. A little bit of both. There you go. All <laughs> right. I didn't say a lot. What you got to say a lot? Say a lot? Ooh, I don't know. A hard one. How about Benny? I think I'd have to go with Benny, Benny. the Jet. <laughs> you, a little bit, a little bit of a, a little bit of a leader, so maybe I could take on that. <laughs> yeah, you go. See, I see. I'm leader leading the you group. to water. I'm, I'm leading you to water. I, I'm, 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 I'm like, uh, I'm like Mac Lauder. You know, I'm calling the pitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. My next question is, um, you're, you're, uh, you're hosting a dinner party. And if you could, if you could invite five sports figures, it could be in broadcasting, it could be in any sport, coaches, players, uh, past or present, alive or no longer with us, who would you invite and why? Five of those. Oh, teams. that is hard. Oh wow. Um, I think I'd have to invite Jenny Finch because that's where I got my number from. Ah. Um. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think I'd have to invite uh invite LeBron just because I want to meet him. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. I got three more. Mm -hmm. Um, invite. I think I'd invite. I'd have to invite Keely because I'd have to invite Keely. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'd have to, oh, I don't know. I don't know what else I'd have to invite. Ooh. Mm. Probably Mike Trout. Same number. I have to invite him. And then, invite you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you. I'm, I, even though, I, I figure I figure you'd invite your dad in there before you invite me, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> He can sneak in too. What about Bree? What about Bree? <laughs> you only gave me five. Right, but then there's like a waiting list. So well, I tell you what, I I would give my I would let I would have like auxiliary because you got to have extra. So like Bree, 
and your dad could come, or better yet, Bree and myself could come, but your dad's got to be in the pot. So yeah, yeah. I, I forfeit yeah. my spot to <laughs> Mr. Limley. We'll pull up. We'll pull up chairs for you guys. Yeah, I, you know, I, we'll, be at, I, we'll be at the kitty table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now my final question is: um, You look at the Virginia Tech softball team. Who is the funniest person on the team? Ooh, funniest person on the team. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think, because I think everybody's made me laugh at least a few times. Um, <laughs> I would say... Who makes me laugh? Who is that again? A good Emma Ritter. Yeah, she yeah, seems like she could laugh. crack you up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she could crack you up. All right, two more, two more quick bonus questions in there. Okay, uh, what is your pregame ritual? Like, what are some things you have to do to get ready? Like, do you, what type of music? You know, do you tie your shoelace or your pleat laces a different way? Do you oil up your bat? I mean, your glove. I mean, what is your pregame ritual? Like, something you have to do to make sure you're gonna have a successful time. Um, I listened to one specific song. It's called um, I Did Something Bad by Taylor Swift. Uh, I'm a big Taylor Swift girl, so <laughs> um, I have to listen to that song first, and then I usually just, you know, listen to her on shuffle um, before games, and then uh, I always make sure my cleats are double knotted. I'm not really sure if that's like a ritual thing, but I ha they have to be double knotted for me to pitch. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta be double knotted uh and then uh so uh two quick follow questions um val as far as food or dessert what, what's your favorite dessert like what's a dessert you just love uh cookies and cream ice cream i think good deal okay yeah <laughs> And then, and then finally, you know, we, we recently celebrated the anniversary of Title IX, 50 years of it, and you you pretty much have uh, taken the, you know, advantage of it, because obviously 50 years ago, you didn't have the things you had today. How neat is it to see, you know, you know, women's sports, and particularly women's softball, because women's softball, the ratings on the co women's college work series outdrew the men. How neat is it to see a sport? I mean, just, just, I mean, again, look no further than super regionals and regionals sold out every game. There was a passion. There were people who wanted tickets, couldn't get tickets. This is how <laughs> great is it to see just a passion of, of just women's sports just take off, you know, over the last few years. Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially women's softball over the last years or so has grown exponentially. Um, uh, like at, at Virginia Tech, um, I think our first series of the year, you know, we had a lot of people, but it was, you know, we were nowhere close to packing the stands. And then just about, every, or it kind of grew a little bit, but towards the end of the season, every single game at home was packed, sold out, you know, could barely find a place to stand. Um, a few of our regular season games at the end, there were people um, across the street on Beamer Way you know, trying to watch us play. So um, I think it's really cool that people are realizing that, um, you know, softball especially is very entertaining to watch, very fun to watch, but that people more that are just, you know, realizing that women's sports are, you know, worth putting time and money into. Um, and that's really helping us to succeed too. The more people uh, that, you know, just notice how good we are. Um, but I mean, softball, especially getting pro teams now, getting a lot of recognition um, from like, you know, USA teams and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 really good for women's sports. And I hope it continues to grow. That's awesome. Emma, you are awesome and, and a blessing. <laughs> and I appreciate you giving me time today. Fit me into your tight schedule because, you know, you got you, you got it going on like popcorn, kid. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you so much.